I just got a plant from Costa Farms off Amazon. The box is a little bit beat up, but I'm pretty sure the plant inside will be okay. Let's unpack this. Okay, so we've got a really tall plant here. I'm going to rip the paper off it so we can see what's inside it. Okay, so we have a really nice Monstera. This is a Monstera Deliciosa. I wouldn't eat it though, the leaves are poisonous. But um, it certainly looks like a nice healthy plant. Um, it makes these uh, leaves with holes in them and eventually uh, they become fringed like these. Now this is a fast growing plant and you're going to want to stake it up or use a moss pole because this plant is naturally a climber so if you're looking for a good plant for your house this will do it you can get a nice tropical vibe in your home and this plant will take care of it for you it's easy to grow doesn't need a lot of light and uh, I think if you get one you'd be happy with it so I got all the shrink wrap off it and you can see it's a pretty healthy plant um, this is the second plant I've got from Costa Farms uh, the first was a really exceptional uh, Boston fern so these guys are pretty good at producing large plants and getting them to you in good shape. Now the box itself was pretty beat up. Um, actually this plant was supposed to come yesterday and UPS couldn't get to it so it, it's probably been thrown around on the truck twice but the plant has arrived in really good shape. Um, there's one leaf here that was broken off, but all things considered, not a big deal. And so this plant is in a pretty good sized pot. I don't really have to repot it, but I probably will because I'm going to want to put a post in it. Um, this is the Monstera uh, Deliciosa and uh, it's also called the Swiss cheese plant I think you can see why um, but normally uh, as it matures it will have these split leaves um, there are other varieties the one that's called Swiss cheese plant vine which is I believe Monstera I may be pronouncing this wrong add in Sony but this is Monstera deliciosa and like I said the leaves are poisonous so don't try to eat it it's not delicious and uh, that means same thing for your pets and, and children uh, put this in a place where they can't get at them I'm pretty happy with this plant. Let me turn it a little. So it's a good sized plant. It is definitely two feet tall and it's more if you include the base. Uh, I don't know what size pot that is but I would say it's probably a three gallon two to three gallon and um, I have pots that I could put it in that are fives that it would probably do better in 
uh, but for now we're just going to set it out and uh, let it get acclimated. Again, this plant does not like bright sun. So it's perfect for a sort of low light area, a living room. Um, you know, if you're going to put it near a south window, you'll want to hang a curtain to filter the sunlight. But perfect for a north window or an east window where it might get a little bit of morning sun. Uh, now I do want to mention this plant comes with two poles so you can use those to tie up the branches but really these do best on like a cocoa core pole um, I'll show you one of those in a, in a bit but um, you'll definitely want to train this plant to climb um, otherwise it's going to probably take up too much space it's going to sprawl and uh, eventually probably the vines will break because they can't support all the extra weight so yeah this is a plant that should be staked anyway I am gonna get this thing going and uh, hope you're all well take good care of yourselves happy gardening don't forget, stay green. All right, see you all later. Bye-bye.